In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum. I am Alina Zaman Khan from Biomedical Department of University of Engineering and Technology, Texla, and affiliated with the research group known as Syndicate of Embedded and Electronic Design. I am here to present my research work titled as Freezing of Gate Detection in Parkinson's Disease from Accelerometer. Among other authors are Foha Amir, Ayaz Kafir, Muhammad Umar Khan, and Sumair Aziz. Here is the basic outline of what I am going to present. My motivation to work on this research, introduction and discussion about my research and its results and conclusion. In introduction, I am going to discuss my motivation and literature review. First, I am going to show you my motivation behind this research in this video. Today, I would like to discuss the question that is essential to our research work. What is Parkinson's disease? Let's start with some basics. In Pakistan, total 100 patients are detected with Parkinson's disease daily basis, which makes 365,000 detection of Parkinson's disease on yearly basis. Globally diagnosed PD patients are 6 million, which makes PD as the most common brain disease second only to Alzheimer's. Age increases the risk of Parkinson's, and average age of Parkinson's is 60. So as population continues to grow older, more people are likely to experience PD. In fact, people tend to think Parkinson's as older people disease. But some get PD at 40 or even younger age. Some diseases can be diagnosed with lab tests, cholesterol level, and blood pressure to evaluate, for example, heart diseases. We need tests for Parkinson's, but they don't exist yet. By the time symptoms emerge, 50 to 80 percent of dopaminergic neurons have, neurons have already died. Doctor diagnose Parkinson's by medical history, medical examination, the and list two or more three classic motor symptoms, which are resting tremors, frequency ranges from four to six hertz, gait imbalance, and slowness of movement called as bradykinesia. When people hear about Parkinson, they usually think of motor symptoms, especially tremor, but PD affects other body symptoms, including cognitive ability constipation, sleep problem, and depression. Some report they, that they lose sense of smell. One of the hardest things about Parkinson is that everyone with that disease embarks on unique journey. In fact, movement disorder specialist says, if you have met one person with Parkinson's, you have met one person with Parkinson. If each PD patient has onset of symptoms, then what is common? To answer that, let's look into human brain. In Parkinson, brain cells that mimic dopamine stop working or die. Dopamine is the signaling chemical or nerve transmitter that coordinates movement. When these cell dies, Parkinson results. Exactly why this cell dies is not well understood. Researchers believe that Parkinson is likely caused by combination of genetics and environmental factors such as pesticide, hand injuries are also associated with increase in risk of Parkinson's disease. In most people, there is no clear exposure we can point as straightforward cause of Parkinson. But how do we treat Parkinson then? The doctors tell their patient that current medication for PD can't slow the progression of disease, but they can ease symptoms. What is FOG? Posture instability or gait imbalance results in rigidity or stiffness of body, commonly known as freezing in medical term. This can cause falling of patient that can result in serious type injuries and can also be fatal as old people. About freezing of gait, it is an abnormal gait pattern that can accompany Parkinson's disease and one of the main symptoms. Thus, in the research, I am going to detect FOG symptoms using machine learning techniques. Now, at first, let's discuss about the previous work in this domain. 
Here are some of the research work on the gait analysis from 2017 to 2020. Accuracy vary from 71 to 93%. And the data acquisition method are also different in this research works. SVM, KNN and random forest are usually used for classification which led us to go to in the same direction but with different approach. So the materials and methodology are as follows. I use the data of 3D accelerometer, then extract 19 features from it, then classify it into two categories, FOG and non-FOG signal. Now I'm going into the details. I utilized the online data set of Bachelin Mark et al. in which they acquired data from waist, ankle and knee using 3D accelerometer during various locomo locomotions of subjects. Then I extracted 19 features from the signals among which after working on different combinations these 11 features shows the highest accuracy for classification. For classification badge trees shows the highest accuracy since it Combine several decision trees to produce better predictive performance and we want to reduce the variance of the decision tree. Now talking about the results. This is the combination of features that gives the highest accuracy of all the combinations. Including which mean, variance, cuneus, rutosis, SF, MF, MRF, met frequency, median, PRMS and OP gives the highest accuracy and the back trees give the highest accuracy for classification among all classifiers which is 90.4% with, with only 9.6% error. Thus the conclusion about this research is That this is an advanced approach in the field of neurology and it is a non-invasive signal acquisition technique. It gives accurate results and it is an automatic detection of freezing of gait. There is no danger to the human health and it helps us to better understand and control the symptoms of Parkinson's. These are the references. And you may ask any question in the comment section below.